In the gilded world of aristocrats and social elites, John Singer Sargent wielded his brush as a magician, capturing the soul behind every immaculately tailored suit and elegantly draped gown. His canvases breathed life into the elite, immortalizing their grace, power, and sometimes their vulnerabilities. Picture yourself in the grand salons of Paris where whispers of Sargent's artistic brilliance danced through the air like perfumed wisps. It was here, amidst the opulent society balls and grand gatherings, that Sargent's journey into the elite echelons of portraiture commenced. Sargent's artistry wasn't just about capturing appearances. It was about seizing the essence of his subjects. His brush moved like a maestro's wand, choreographing strokes that unveiled not just faces, but the very souls of those who sat for him. Whether it was a coy smile hidden behind lace or the piercing gaze of a noblewoman, he etched their stories onto the canvas. Each portrait was a symphony of colors and textures. Silk and satin came alive under his brush, exuding opulence and luxury. The light played a clandestine game, revealing only what Sargent deemed necessary, leaving hints of mystery and intrigue. His fame soared as his art traveled across borders, from the sun-kissed parlors of France to the stately homes of England and the bustling avenues of America, his portraits adorned the walls of the social elite, a testament to his prowess in capturing the essence of high society. Yet amid the splendor and glamour, Sargent's brush told tales beyond the pristine facades, in the iconic Madame X, he dared to challenge convention, portraying a woman of elegance and allure, but with an air of enigmatic detachment. The scandal that ensued only added to the allure of his art, cementing his name in the annals of history. And then there was Lady Gertrude Agnew of Lochnaw. In her portrait, Sargent unveiled a different kind of allure, one that didn't scream for attention, but demanded respect. Clad in a demure purple dress, she sat, not as a mere subject, but as a woman of quiet strength, meeting the viewer's gaze with a sense of determination that transcended the confines of the frame. Sargent's canvases were not just reflections of beauty, they were windows into the souls of his subjects. He didn't paint faces. He captured stories, stories of power, vulnerability, elegance, and strength. His portraits were more than mere brush strokes. They were a symphony of emotions and narratives that whispered secrets only the canvas could hold. Sargent, in the grand tapestry of art history, wasn't merely an artist. He was a weaver of narratives and emotions. His importance transcends the strokes of his brush. It lies in the depths of his canvases, revealing the very essence of his subjects and the art of portraiture itself. Firstly, Sargent's significance rests in his mastery of capturing the intangible. He didn't merely replicate faces. He breathed life into his subjects, immortalizing their essence. His portraits weren't static images. They were living tales frozen in time, evoking emotions and stories long after the paint dried. Moreover, his artistry was a delicate dance between tradition and innovation. 
While embracing the classical techniques of the old masters, Sargent wielded his brush with a modern flair, infusing his portraits with a vibrant sense of life and movement. He bridged the gap between the conventional and the avant-garde, earning acclaim from both the art establishment and a more progressive audience. Sargent's daring approach to portraiture is another facet of his importance. In an era where societal norms dictated restraint, he dared to peel back the layers of propriety. The scandalous allure of Madame X was a testament to his audacity, challenging the boundaries of acceptability and redefining the role of an artist as a provocateur. Furthermore, his ability to reveal the humanity within his subjects is a testament to his empathy and understanding. He didn't paint idealized versions. He painted individuals, flaws and all. His portraits were windows into the complexities of human nature, reflecting not just the external beauty, but the internal struggles and triumphs. Lastly, Sargent's legacy endures because he was a maestro of emotions. Through his brushwork, he orchestrated a symphony of feelings, elegance, power, vulnerability, and strength, creating an emotional resonance that transcends time and space. His portraits weren't mere likenesses, they were emotional mirrors that reflected the essence of the human condition. John Singer Sargent's importance lies not just in his technical brilliance, but in his ability to transcend the confines of a canvas and capture the very essence of humanity. He remains an enduring figure in art history, revered for his unparalleled skill in revealing the beauty and complexity of the human soul through the medium of portraiture.